What's going on guys, Austin back in today. I'm going to be going over how to properly roam in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, in this video, I'm going to be covering three things about the roam. Firstly, just the basic idea of what is a roam. Secondly, good operators to roam with. And third, what to do when you are roaming. Just, I'm going to go into a custom game and show you guys what you guys need to be doing. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to go over is just what is a roam exactly. I think a lot of people will tell you, or not tell you, but a lot of people think it is just playing out of sight and, you know, basically fragging and trying to put your team in the number advantage. That is not what a roam is. What roaming is and the main idea of it is it's just wasting time. That is what roaming is. When you are roaming, that should be your idea, is wasting time for the other team so that they are taxed and you know their executes are pushed you know and have to be rushed so let's say for an example we are you know defending a first floor bomb site and your job is to roam on the second floor what you should be doing is basically denying them from getting into the room above second floor where you are holding and playing around so they cannot make vert and play there you want them to get in the building as late as you humanly possible like humanly possible can hold them out for because when you are roaming and basically wasting that time that time is very you know valuable for attackers it is already hard to attack in this game so if you can you know prevent them from taking that important map control and delaying them from getting in instead of them getting in at like two minutes and then instead they have to you know roam clear you and get in at like one minute that is a huge difference that minute is going to be like the decider between you guys waiting around and you guys not because what that means for them is that their push is going to be very late and rushed and they're gonna have to be nearly perfect when attacking and you know cutting you guys down at the end of rounds right because if you can successfully do that and there's a minute left they can't just sit there waiting for you guys to run around site and you know basically on those you know vertical holes right so their push is going to be like very it's going to be much worse basically so what you're doing again on roam is you're wasting time you're you know delaying them preventing them from getting map control if you get a couple kills hey that's great but basically you shouldn't be just chasing kills what you need to do is delay them from getting into that important map control that you are holding and destroy as much utility as you possibly can so yeah that is basically what roaming is all right so i'm gonna be telling you guys some operators you guys need to be roaming with before we get into what to do on the roam now i think when you are roaming i think it is very you know key that you guys are using someone that you are very comfortable with because when you guys are roaming you're essentially by yourself right other than if you have someone else kind of out of sight with you playing by you that's going to be different but a lot of times you're going to be just isolated alone on an island so you need to be someone you're comfortable with so don't just run like someone you don't like running just because they have a good gadget you know run someone you're comfortable with so you can actually hold your roam and help your team out so looking at this operator list i think clearly the best roamer in the game is uh solus i mean her ability is boss stage you can see people through the walls it helps you get rid of the utility that you're going to get be like the drones and stuff that you're going to be getting droned out with and everything like that you can do run out solus is by far the best roamer in this game and if you are roaming and you are good with solus you need to be running solus every time on the roam i think she's just amazing and yeah i mean i think everybody would agree with me there um looking at kind of the, the other guys i think you know a good person maybe not utility wise is doc you know it's nice to have your doc in sight but Having those stims when you're upstairs, you know, pro fighting multiple people and trying to deny them, I think is great. He has a great gun, you know, if you need to get in those gunfights, plus the bailiff if you want to make rotations, head holes, and stuff like that. I think Doc is great. Um, another person I'd say is Legion, man. Legion is really good. Like, gr he's great as a sight anchor, obviously, but he is also great on the roam just being able to put down those lesion mines and kind of hear and get those sound cues of when people are pushing in, it's going to make them way more cautious and wary. And it should basically, again, his gadget is just going to waste time because they're going to be like, oh, I have to tank this lesion mine. Plus, I got to take it out. That's time wasted. So, yeah, lesion's great. And then I would also say, obviously, I almost missed him. Vigil. 
Vigil's awesome. You know, obviously he is basically just a roamer. You don't want him in sight if you have him on your team. Um, you know, he has great guns, plus the Baj G, SMG 12, plus his ability literally you can't be seen by drones. So yeah, I think those are probably the best roamers. Obviously, you can roam with anybody in the game, but like just roaming with those people especially are just probably a little bit better. They give you the edge just because of the gadget, but yeah roaming with anybody is possible i'm not saying that you can't but yeah um just somebody basically that you're comfortable with plus if you want like gadgets to bring that are going to help you you can run like solace like i said lesion doc is good and vigil those are probably the four i would say but yeah anybody in the game is fine just as long as you're comfortable with them all right so now to get into what you need to be doing on the roam when you're roaming so say obviously i know the bomb site says we are defending upstairs but say we're defending this basement site right um your your job should be firstly to destroy drones you know deny intel and reinforce so whether you're upstairs reinforcing in sight or away you know where you're playing or you know when you're first floor in the basement you know, getting hatches so here on chalet we're gonna get dining and main hatch and that should be your, all you should be doing in the prep phase destroying drones you know whether soul is like just destroy drones get the hatches that should be good next when you know the prep phase ends right as you know the round starts you want to be just seeing if there's like an amaru pushing in or there's an ash running in or there's a nook sneaking in just hearing that relaying that to your team this is where like you feeding info is just gonna like start um you know just that's all you should be doing right feeding info to your team um at the start of the round before you know you obviously have to ine inevitably you know put your life on the line to uh deny stuff so feeding into to your team see where there's a rush um after that maybe just flip through some cams see if you can you know basically next is just you flip through cams um go on like your solace can your solace use your ears just try to see if you can identify where they're pushing from um, that's probably the ne that's the next thing. Just see if you know you can be like, hey, you know they're gonna be flooding, um, like snow garage. And, you know, try to get the plant down. I can hear a montane. They put a claymore up in library. You know stuff like that. Deny that. Feed that into your intel. Um, and then next is really just after you can see where they're pushing from and stuff like that, is just knowing then okay where do now I have to deny so. If you know they are pushing snow garage and you can, you know, you, this like main door gets shot out, you know that, okay, so they're going to be trying to push down, you know, you should be safely then assuming, okay, they're going to try to fl maybe push down main stairs or they have a ram to, you know, rip up this floor, fuse, to, you know, bomb the floor. So that should be what you're doing next. So basically then um, let's say, you know, like there's a ram pushing here um, and maybe there's a fuse too. Let's say there's two ram fuse pushing this main room then this is where you know you wasting time starts so basically just holding passive angles just letting them know basically first that you are up here is the biggest thing because when especially you guys know like you guys attack in this game and you guys know when like you're trying to push something play vertically or anything what you are doing first if there's somebody upstairs like roaming or near you you know out of sight your main job is to force them out so you know, they're going to know you're up here. They're going to be droning. You're going to be shooting their drones. Make sure, importantly, reposition when you get droned out, when you get, you know, quick peeked out, whatever it is. If they know where you are, you want to rotate out and just keep rotating yourself out because that's going to make them obviously have to then, you know, check angles, re-drone you. And that, again, is wasting time. And that's what you are doing, right? wasting time make sure you're not dying too because your life honestly is so valuable up here because it, especially if they do you know like the example i'm in they do have a ram and fuse if they can get in here early and just like you are you you know you see them here you just swing way wide you die it was stupid of you and they get in here two minutes and they just start ripping up the floor exploding the floor Pop, you know that makes it so much more hard or way harder to defend for your teams that your teammates that are anchoring sites so you know again you know you just want to be fighting them wasting time make them push you really you don't want to be swinging them because again you're on defense you're denying you're trying to deny them from getting in here basically inevitably you're trying to deny them to plant so making them push you is what you should be doing 
And yeah, you know, keeping alive, you know, constantly repositioning. You know, if they like throw a ramp thing in here, you can you know, toss an impact, stuff like that. Everything in your power to hold them and things like that. Again, if you know if they swing you or you inevitably, you know, you're gonna die, so you have to swing them. You can do that. If you pick up a kill, that's huge. It just makes it easier on you. But yeah, basically, you just again, like I said in the first part of this video. All you need to be doing is denying this map control, denying, 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 preventing them, delaying them, all of that from getting this thing, from getting, you know, control of where you're defending, you know, whether it's, again, downstairs, if you're trying to play downstairs vert, um, or upstairs, you know, wh wherever you are, denying, denying, preventing, delaying, wasting time for them. Make their push, be late, make it be, you know, super uncoordinated, make them, you know, put the pressure all on them put it all on them so at the end of the day you know you are you know confident and they're the ones that are rushing and you know not really going in with a plan maybe and just have to you know run in so they can win the round hopefully so that is really all you need to be doing on the roam i think uh, one more thing again if you know you successfully defend this right and they you know rotate off and nobody's here and you know maybe you kill everybody you can go on a flank i think that's a good thing with roaming you know obviously you don't want to go on like too predictable like multiple times in a game but if you want to hit you know a flank like back here and then like push down into um like uh the other garage and push through there and try to deny wine or if you want to push down blue flank down there great things to do at the end of the day again successfully waste time feed intel to your team stay alive and prevent map control waste their time waste their time don't focus on kills because roaming successfully and wasting time without getting any kills is successful you know what I mean? Maybe not on the stat sheet. It might not look successful, but you know in your head and your team knows that that is the most important and that is your job. So yeah, that is how to roam on a ro on a game and uh, sorry, not a game, a round to round basis. All right, so that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys are new, turn on post notifications and make sure you go visit the description down below to go sub or not sub, but follow my Twitch and see, catch me there. I stream a lot on there. But yeah, um, basically, this is a video how to roam better. Now, obviously, if you guys know how to roam, I hope this helped. You know, maybe some things that you're doing wrong or, you know, maybe helped you implement some stuff that you weren't doing before. If you're new to the game, I hope this just helped you, you know, be more confident now on the roam um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe again and peace out.